Why people hate Ty Gibbs. Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? If I haven't earned your subscription, hopefully today is the day I will earn that subscription. All right, if you didn't see it, in the Xfinity race this weekend, Ty Gibbs threw a bump and run and then doored John Hunter Nemechek and Twitter exploded with people not liking Ty Gibbs. Now, I just want to go ahead and say the move itself, the bump and run, was I didn't have a problem with that. But when he doored him at the end, I think that's where a lot of people sort of lost their minds. But the fact that he did that to John Hunter Nemechek, well, that was, uh, that was where people that supported Ty Gibbs had the sticking point because obviously John Hunter Nemechek uh, also has driven that way in the past. Of course, the old Cole Custer incident in the truck series. So not the best person to defend because he drives essentially the same way. But since this was a conduit for people to express their displeasure with Ty Gibbs, I thought today would be the day to talk about why. People don't like Ty Gibbs. Reason number one. He's rich. He's had everything handed to him. You see that in the comment section all throughout, all the time. He's rich. If it wasn't for his granddad, he wouldn't have nothing, blah, 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 blah. It's the same old Austin Dillon argument, right? So he's rich. Everything's been handed to him. Uh, but that being said, I don't think that alone is why people hate him. But I think it's definitely one of the reasons because people that have had to work for everything, uh, their whole lives, they sort of resent these people that just, you know, started out life uh, on their way to home base, you know, started started life on third base and then are on, the, on their way home. People don't like that, right? So he's sort of in this situation where against nothing he did, he was born this way, right? He was born rich. There's nothing he can do about it. But that is one of the aspects. So you can kind of say it's jealousy in a sense, but also uh, you've never seen the guy work for anything, so him being born rich is, even though nothing he can do about that, is one reason people don't like him. The second reason is he's entitled. He runs through people and then acts like it's no big deal, and that is partially because he was rich, but we've seen other drivers who were born rich that don't act like this, right? Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., he never really ran through a lot of people. Uh, early on in Chase Elliott's career, he didn't run through a lot of people, although now... Uh, it's up for debate, but both of those guys were born, you know, financially stable to say the least, uh, and they both won, uh, you know, most favorite drivers. So uh, you can't say that just because you're born rich, uh, people will hate you. It's part of also part of it is the entitlement thing. So Ty Gibbs drives through people, acts like it's no big deal, and part of that is because he has had things, you know, sort of given to him. He doesn't understand that most drivers come up not driving like that because every single penny counts like if you wreck a car you have to pay to replace it or at the very least pay the crash clause a lot of people worry about that stuff ty gibbs has never had to worry about that stuff uh so he comes off as very entitled to your other racers and to the fans and that rubs people the wrong way like when he drove through ryan sieg ryan sieg is a guy that's just trying to make it he drove through ryan sieg on lap five destroyed his car and then acted like hmm, so what big deal if he wants to get me back he gets me back that was sort of the attitude that he had, and that rubbed a lot of fans the wrong way, and Ryan Sieg tried to take a swipe back at him and failed, so that sort of diffused the situation a little bit, but I don't think necessarily Ryan Sieg is all the way done with it, but he does definitely come off as entitled, because when he runs through people, he acts like it's not a big deal, and then in true you know, fashion, when he gets run over... He blows a gasket, so he is definitely entitled, and he definitely learned that from, you know, his JGR uh, mentors. And the third reason is he's an unchecked bully, and he's an unchecked bully for several reasons. He'll bump you, he'll run through you, and he'll bully you, but nobody ever pays him back. One reason for that is a lot of the guys in the Xfinity series want to race for Joe Gibbs, so they're not going to anger Joe Gibbs by wrecking the grandson, because if you wreck the grandson, Joe Gibbs is going to think about it, Joe Gibbs is going to pray about it, and then at the end of the day, Joe Gibbs is going to be done with you, and you're never going to race in Joe Gibbs' equipment. So that is one reason he is an unchecked bully. The other reason he is an unchecked bully is that some of you guys' favorite drivers are just trying to take the high road, and you can't take the high road with a bully. When a bully punches you, you have to punch him back in the face. Uh, case in point, Martin Truex tried to take the high road with Joey Logano. He didn't wreck him back in the championship race. How did that work out for him? Exactly. When a bully punches you, you have to put, punch the bully back in the face regardless of the consequences. You can't worry about not being able to race for Joe Gibbs 
If Ty Gibbs runs through you, you have to run through Ty Gibbs. So the best way to send a message is to hit him as hard as he hits you or hit him harder than he hits you, however you want to take it. Uh, Ross Chastain proved this the, uh, the other week, right? Uh, AJ Allmendinger bumped him out of the way, gave him the old bump and run. Ross Chastain said, oh, you didn't run away fast enough, so I'm going to give it back to you even harder. So however your moral compass is on that as a driver, you have to give it back to him. You can't just let him keep bullying you and running through you. But him bullying people is another reason why the fans don't like him because, well, they've bullied his favorite driver. But to be fair, your favorite driver should stick up for themselves and bully him back. All right, that is why people dislike Ty Gibbs. Now, me personally, uh, I, I know some guys. He raced for Nelson Motorsports in the uh, late models where, where I help out people. And I talked to those guys over there, and they said he's actually one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. So I want to be very clear on this. I'm not talking about Ty Gibbs as a person. I'm just talking about Ty Gibbs as a race car driver, and that is why people don't like him. I think, personally, he's probably a really nice kid. Uh, so I'm not trying to come down on him like that, but definitely as a race car driver, I think a lot of fans, I think actually the vast majority of fans dislike Ty Gibbs and those are the three reasons why. All right, that is all I've got time for today. If you like the content, feel free to subscribe down below. If you got a comment, leave it down in the comment section. I will do my best to get to as many of them as I can. And other than that, thanks for your time. Peace.